this too. It's crazy. Right, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, I've done it a few times. <laughs> yeah. I think my first rodeo. Come on, come on, Chris. Come on, two more. Three come on, let's go. Pretty strong. Sorry, skill. Yeah. Push it in front of raw weight? Yeah. Calvin, hmm. these are all the secrets, bro. What do you mean? See? One potato? That's it. It's one potato every 27 minutes. Nice. Put a pat on the ball of oil? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Beautiful. Secrets. This is the secrets. Potatoes done 40 different ways. <laughs> Just to keep up the, uh, the diversity so that Mr. Bumstead can stay bougie. Bougie, yeah. Anyways, what is up, YouTube? Mustache is in full effect. Wayans are in. How many hours away are we? Three hours, probably four hours. It's been that long everything takes. But it's been an interesting day. We woke up under 240, and it's just been about keeping me there all day. So I lowered my water, lowered my sodium, and literally tracking everything that's going in my body from the time to the grams to the ounces to the water, everything that's going in me. And then every time I eat or drink, I take off all my clothes, I step on the scale, and then we see, oh, can you eat a little more? Can you drink a little more? And just balancing that out pretty much. Honey's just being a wizard right now. And it's bouncing around and Courtney's been a chef all day cooking steak, salmon, rice, fish, potatoes, anything you can imagine. Right now we you saw us dicing up potatoes in different ways. We weighed it out, we're gonna see which one sucks the most liquid out of it. So we kind of have some things we're bored too. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah a little we're bit. Bored. But the more carbs I can eat right now with the minimal amount of liquid, the better. So we're just trying to dry the shit out of it. That an air fryer, that'd be amazing. But I did not get an air fryer at Target. Next time we will get an air fryer because air fried potatoes are the best. But you know, we're three hours away right now. Feeling pretty good. I literally haven't left the hotel room. I've been like sleeping, shaved my beard, sleeping, eating, kind of stretching, moving around, trying to like make sure that I'm not too stagnant with the food in me so that I can actually move through and have a good poop and everything. So yeah, it's pretty much what's been going on all day. And we're gonna keep doing this till 8 p.m. Make weight. Eat some food. We're gonna have a late night workout. After in the hotel, had some biceps, little arms, just whatever finishing up we need to do, and then the tomorrow the fun begins. So stay tuned. I thought you're not doing shit tomorrow. Sorry? I thought you're not doing shit tomorrow. I got a tan, press conference, and maybe another tan. Oh, sorry, that's Friday. Athlete meet and greet. Tan. A lot of shit going on tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's a very, very loaded day. Yeah. The hardest day. Yeah. The meet and greets are so difficult. A long day and then a meet and greet at like 9 p.m. and you're just like fully depleted. Like, oh. yeah. So luckily you have an extra day to rest. Yeah, I've here. woken up like swollen after standing there for three hours meeting people and like people get mad at you if you leave at like 10 o'clock. I'm like, I gotta compete. You're here to watch me look good, you know. But it's all part of the game. Yeah, it's hard to come up with an excuse that I spent too much time at the meet and greet. That's why I got watery. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. See, see you later. Eight ounces of that potato. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. So that you can get the water right after too with your food. Yeah, I'll bring bag, like everything. Just bring, you know, where you can have a bottle over there? Or I mean, I'll bring a bag and a bottle, a smaller bottle. Measure the water and everything. Okay. Got it.
So we are officially 30 minutes out, 20 minutes out of weigh-ins. So walking over to Plant Hollywood now, gonna find the ballroom, find the weigh-ins. I think there's like a meeting, 212, a bunch of people before me, so we still have a while, but I'm currently like a pound under 240 on my scale. So hopefully their scales are similar. Honey went and checked their scale earlier just to make sure it was close to ours. And he said it was pretty much right on. Mine was a little bit heavier. So we're gonna head over there. Waited out, got a beautiful meal in the bag, ready to go for a bunch of steak, bunch of potato, and then late night workout, go to bed. Chinese fans, exciting news! This year, got the fourth. They got high hopes for you too, yeah. I bet. No, no, they want. They actually, want me. Actually, they think you're the champion this year. Chinese fans. Well, I love those Chinese fans. <laughs> you should go. Like That's my love. We're planning on going soon, I think. Yeah, we want to. We want to do Asian too. Yeah. 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 You know what? When you when you walk around here and they say that's Chris. Chris, this is too dark here. I see. Um, <laughs> He's hiding. Yeah. 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 I came here like 10 days ago. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need that. It's a long flight. Yeah, it's a long flight. I was really excited when you were coming because everyone forgot about you since 2019. I was like, this motherfucker's gonna sneak in and hurt some people. For I'm, not, sure. I'm not sneaking, you know. I just I missed the conference and the waiting. Yes, I. No, I mean, people just forgot the, how good you were back in 2019. Uh, You're gonna come and like break some people's hearts because they think, oh, I got it, and Bridge is gonna come destroy them. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Calvin's your biggest fan too. Thanks, bro. You like your evenings are gonna be. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. This year. That's not gonna happen. You are still the champion. What's going on guys? We got Branch back from the US and we are so excited to have him at the Olympia. I think he's going to break some hearts and destroy some people on the stage. So I can't wait to see the package he brought. I love you guys. Thank you guys for the support. Let's fuck up this Olympia. You know, you know what? All, all the Chinese fans, they think you will get the fourth champion and uh, what do you think what i'm here to do yeah i'm here not to get one so we'll bring it home oh, yeah. under yeah skinny bear yeah <laughs> <laughs> you see my face it's so thin and rosy <laughs> two days to eat yeah they come right yeah just follow me yeah, yeah. Just, okay. 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 
Chris, Chris. I'm sure Better than 11, Michelle Jim. Sure, bro. No love. I get no love from this guy. 12, Lisa Cudry. Need that. Keep the germs away. Can't get sick of the day before the Olympia. From all over the world. Germs from all over the world are congregating here in Las Vegas. Thoughts? Thoughts? It's hectic being here now when I can't even walk through the crowd without being mob, but kind of a beautiful thing. It's exciting. I'm really tired and <laughs> hungry right now. So it's not really the time for it. I'm stuck being here, sitting down, waiting for them to finish up the ladies' registration, and then they're calling in Class 6212 everyone right now, and then the weigh-ins begin, and then we're free to go. So, get us under wraps. 17, that's You? Hell no. Holy fuck. Not for you. Dude, I didn't even recognize you. I was about to steal it. Are you steal it? This one's on me. Huh? This one's on me. I'll give it back. Hey? I'll give it back. I don't need it. You know, are you sure? Yeah. Hand it along to someone else. Okay. Pass it along. Okay. This is Chris. There you go. Can we get a selfie with it later and I can sell it on sell it eBay, on eBay and wash yeah. it off? Yeah. Will you sign it for me? I licked it to get I'll it wet too. You did? Yeah. Proof. I'll do it again. Well, you, got your well, you touched it now. It's, your, right. sorry. it's too late. Thank you for your attention. First, I want to say congratulations for qualifying for the 2022 Olympia weekend. It's the greatest bodybuilding show in the world. We know how much hard work and dedication it took for you guys to get here. Let's give each other a round of applause. My name is Caden Riley. I'm the associate producer of the Olympia. Sixty-six people. Hmm? Sixty-six people. Heard it? And I was like, this is fucking sick. And I was like, these motherfuckers, both of you guys are probably close into it. I got a pretty sick song. I picked mine yesterday. <laughs> I had one and then I showed it to my sister and Courtney. They're like, boring. I'm like, I'm bored. It's not challenging. <laughs> So I was like, fuck it, I changed it. I had to delete my USB. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Still kind of making it in my mind, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek Elgindi with the Mr. Olympia. Three-time classic physique Mr. Olympia champion, Christopher Bumstead, a.k.a. C-Bum. Chris, a while back you said to me, the most relevant Olympia for me was the second one. I felt like that was the most relevant, it had a lot of importance to me. But if you win the fourth one, that's a dynasty. That's you cementing your name, saying, hey, I am the one who put a statement on that category. How do you feel? I mean, I'll tell you how I feel after it's done, because the job's not done yet, but like I said, 2018 was a special memory for me because I went through, but each win had its own beautiful moments to it. I'm grateful for every single one, and you know, I'm just excited that this journey so far has been so good this year, and I feel great. I'm ready to really bring my best look, and it, maybe it'll be my favorite one yet. You never know. So, obviously working with Hani Rambot, he's a great coach, he's got many Mr. Olympias on his camp. Tell me a little bit about this modification, it's a new coach, did you feel like it was an easy transition? I think it was an easy transition, it's a new coach for me, but Hani's been in the industry for years, he's been with champions for years, he knows what it takes mentally, physically, and I think it's, what we've done is pretty impressive, because people are like, oh, if a name broke, don't fix it, but... A champion needs to get better every single year, and with these guys getting better and better that I'm going up against, we had to bring my level, my physique up to the next level, and I believe we did just that, so I'm excited to show it off. 
Chris Bumstead, he is one of the greatest competitors we have nowadays. And every year he continues to get better. My, team, my name is Terry Kelgindi with the superstar C Bum. We'll see you on stage. Nice and easy. Nice. 25, Jeff Hellenbach. Goat number. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Seems like it. Yeah. Been trouble. Enjoy your food. Hey, you too, man. That's the thing when you are a champ, you need to wait. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You're always first, the last first, one. Yeah. You're always the last one. Let me go first. Yeah, I want to squeeze your in, bro. But if only. I don't can make, make it anything. easily. I went down to 218, so I went about five pounds up to the left way. Four. Uh, four. My brain is your brain AFK. Is broken. <laughs> Fuck go eat. Broken. Yeah, bro. Rest up. Good. Okay. Keep in touch and yeah, it's a long day. Rest yeah. up. Calvin, see you. <laughs> what was that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Later. Aaron's rough. Hey, you two. The classic physique Olympians that were not called, please come up to the table. Classic physique. <laughs> Oh, a little bit. Every inch counts, right? Thank you, sir. What's up, man? Yeah, How are you? Good, man. Thank you. 51, Mike Sommerfeld, Germany. Stretch a little bit, but you make sure you get limber. Bad pose, bad pose, man. He's like, wait, no, you. I'm looking all around for you. How are you, man? Good, good. I'll take that. How are you guys all doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Long night for you guys. You can take the hat off first. Here you go. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Two. It's crazy. Let's get it. Up to 6-2, Bill. Done, brother. Yeah, it took me to the ladies. How you doing? They were fucking hungry as hell. I've done it a few times. I think my first rodeo. Appreciate you, guys. Good luck, Chris. Thank you, guys. Good luck, Chris. Good luck, Chris. So, she had a mic stop with me. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. He's like, I hate shit all day. Was I 6'1 or 6'2? You're 6'1 just under 6'2? Yeah, you're 6'1 and a half. 6'1 and a half. Damn Tracy. He makes me by 10 pounds. No more 10 more pounds. He's like, oh, he's like, he's like wait, I'm almost 6'2? You want to give me another 10 pounds? Good luck to you guys. All right, see you guys. Good luck, Chris. How are you guys going? Everything's well, man. How about yourself? Good. Can't complain. Made weight, so. Yeah, yeah. One step done. How are you? Now we're talking. See you, boss man. How are you? How's it going? Good, buddy. How are you? Ready to rock and roll. I'll take your USB. And is that going to be on or off? Off stage, please. Number one, Nawal Adami. Two, Abdullah Al Saeed. I wanted to get you a shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Seriously appreciate you. Bye guys. Got that VIP service at the back door. Shout out to all the helpers. Oh, people are already waiting right here. There's an elevator. Well, not a big deal. Hello.
you make weight, Court? I made fucking mid breath. Oh, yeah, I didn't say I made weight. I made weight. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. I was sitting there a little nervous. I'm like, am I the right height? Like, did I shrink? And he pushed this thing hard on my head, like down. All my hair down. I was like, oh no, my, I tried to make my hair puffy. Didn't work. He just pushed it down. He's like, oh, you're almost 6'2". I'm like, am I 6'2"? Or? He's like, no, you're six one and a half. I'm like, all I need. So I was 237.8, which means I have 2.2 pounds to play with. I mean, I've been eating and drinking today, so I think I could put on four or five pounds next year, and still make it. But for now, it's time to eat. Arms. Let's do it. Eat. Alright, so late, very late right now. It's like 11 20, almost 11 30. And in the gym, hitting some late minute biceps, last, last minute biceps. Can't even speak right now, I'm so tired. Finished weigh made weight, had a little bit of food, a little bit more water just to kind of rehydrate myself. And it's supposed to be my final workout today, but the weigh ins took way longer because there's 60 people in classic this year, so it took a minute to get out of there. That's why we're having a late night workout. Tomorrow I rest. Got a bunch of stuff going on the day after I rest. I need two days of rest between, so we're just finishing out this final little workout. The last weightlifting workout in this beautiful hotel gym. This is great ambiance and great music. I'm trying to just get through this, go get some food, go to bed. I'm going to bed at like 9.30, so it's like 11.30 right now. It's late as hell, don't want to be here, but we're going to wrap it up. Final workout of the year. Then it's all food from here, so just got to get this over with. That's <laughs> crazy. Good luck, man.
I got nothing in me for this workout. <laughs> Just trying to get through it. Push as hard as I did the last few workouts. So my biceps aren't being neglected. Just finish this shit off strong because it's late, I'm tired, I'm ready for bed. I mean, barely, but feel it. All right. Yeah, but I'm gonna come up soon. Where are you right now? Are you going ahead in my room or are you in your room? So we wrapped that up, pretty half-ass workout, but I honestly felt in my arms a little bit and how hard I've been pushing. It's all I really need. I'm not trying to like fatigue and beat up my muscle right now so that they like get hurt or get, can't get pumped or they're too like sore. So I mean being tired I guess helped out. Generation 9 was there. I didn't even know they were going to be here. They filmed some clips too if you saw them in the background with another camera. That's what that was. But to wrap on today, Wednesday, tomorrow's a big busy day of running around a whole bunch and making me tired. And it doesn't matter because I made weight and I get to eat some food. It's beautiful. It's really fucking late right now. So I'm going to shower, eat, and get my ass to bed because I am tired as fuck and I know Calvin is too. So peace out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.